hi everyone welcome back to my channel tn art today i will be using the inlays that i made in the previous video and i will link the, that video above here and these were the inlays that i made out of silicone and i poured silicone into silicone and it was an uh, an experiment that i have been told by a lovely subscriber and i tried her their suggestion and it worked also i used vaseline as well inside the molds to make inlays so it was in the video and i might make another video where i will be only using petroleum jelly or vaseline into the silicone molds so let's start what i'm doing here is i am using my mica powder these are chameleon mica powders and they are actually the ones that have different colors when they hit sunlight or light so with the soft brush i am brushing the mica powder onto the inlays so there are different ways you can make this this is one of the way what i do here is i am using the mica powder before adding uh, resin into it or you can use the inlays direct and after when the resin is cured you remove the inlays and uh, brush the mica inside the resin so really up to you so these are this one is a butterfly and that is a bat so these are a bit of a spooky spa side um you can say they are perfect for halloween you can make halloween coaster so look at this gorgeous purple i am really loving this mica powder so in the center there is an eye of, of these silicon inlays so i'm just thinking what i have to do with these eyes so meanwhile this is a moth so beforehand i decided that what colors i will be using on these so these are the different colors that I am using on my inlays. So on to the second step. So after when I'm happy with my inlays, what I will be doing here is I have taken this silicon mold. And it's actually a deep mold because my inlays are a bit on the thick side. So I need a deep pour. That, that's why I'm using these coasters. So I will be adding a little bit of a resin underneath the uh, inlays. So that they don't float here and there when I will be pouring resin onto the coaster. So this is a day before I am doing this. Just pouring a little resin. Again, there are various ways for doing this as well. A lovely subscriber has told me to use silicone spray or silicone uh, on the mold so that my silicone inlays don't get stuck to the mold. So I haven't tried it, but you can give it a go. So adjusting according to the poster, my inlays. So here I'm pouring resin onto the inlays. I did this pouring in two uh, days because my these resin uh, coasters are fairly thick. So I did the first pour one day and the second pour second day. So there was a little mishap happened on the second four. I did got some bubbles. So um, I really had a very bad experience. I really wanted to throw these coasters away because, because of these bubbles. But I went ahead and thought let's see what happens. 
so here i'm removing the inlays i do get some overspill underneath but it's fine this one is totally fine i'm just removing the inlay carefully Uh, this one got a lot of resin underneath so i'm using a heat gun simply so it will help me remove the overspill resin so it's all done and i'm removing the silicone inlay so the most affected one was this butterfly one i was really gutted this happened but it's resin and things do happen and also these are so thick coasters so I wanted to give it a try. So for the eyes, I really didn't want to go with the spooky eye effect. So I wanted something a bit different. So I thought of using these pearls. So what I did here is I use a little bit of UV resin underneath these pearls. And with the UV lamp, I cured them before pouring the top coat. So this is done with the UV resin. And on to the second step. So what I'm doing here is I have my resin all mixed up and I will be using black pigment paste into my resin. And after that, I will be using this blue iridescent mica powder into the black. So both of them, when combined with each other, they give a very beautiful nighty effect. Night time. So I really love this combination. So now I will be doing the top coat and so you can see already the color is so gorgeous. Carefully, I am pouring the resin onto these. And spreading it all the way onto the back side of the coaster.
after doing the so when they are they are all done cured so this is the next day and you can see that blue color is really pretty i got the bubbles because that's the reason they are a bit cloudy but otherwise if i haven't got the bubbles this is a very beautiful color for the background so what i did here is i have used the gilding glue around the edges of the coaster i wanted to do it something different and here i'm using this uh, fox metallic black gold and gold leaf instead of going with any gold and coppers and silver this time i really wanted to try this black color because these are a bit of on the night side halloween style coasters so the outside should be different so here i'm using these uh, this is a black gold leaf and after applying this i did the top coat and this is the final look of the coasters you can see the bubbles inside the butterfly one but this bat one came out really pretty i actually love them but next time i might be careful but again it's reason things to happen so i hope you like the tutorial here and if you did please do let me know in comments that what are your suggestions on this coaster also please like subscribe and share Thumbs up if you like the video and take care. Bye-bye.